Hello, today is August 6th, and I'm going to read yesterday's message in a video, and I'll make a separate video and read today's message. So from August 5th, 2023. Daughter, listen to me as we begin today's lesson. I want you to feel the battle as I describe the scene to you. Hear me. I am speaking to you. Follow my voice. Ignore your animals. And my dog was growling right then, being very distracting. Listen, Melissa, I am going to describe what is ahead. You and the others were discussing these matters last night. The dawn breaks and the earth shifts. Many will lose their lives for my name's sake. Many will begin to wonder why they would not take the mark. They will regret their choice. They will figure it out, but theirs is a different journey. Those with the mark will find temporary peace. They will call out to me no more. They will sign their lives over to the enemy. However, I will not forget them. Melissa, the zombie apocalypse is going to occur. It will be like the walking dead. They will no longer be fully human. They will suffer no more because of the changes to their way of thinking. They will discover a different hybrid reality. Soon the world will flip. The sky will rain down and the earth will be cleansed from this evil. Melissa, the days ahead are not going to be a mystery. I will reveal the full picture to you over time. For now, begin to imagine some of this. It is not far off. It is much sooner than many believe. The days will tick off one by one until time is up. The days will shatter the wills of men. They will not be able to obey my voice without consequence. They will comply in order to save their lives. But whoever loses his life for my name's sake will gain life everlasting. Sons and daughters, you will not always have a choice as you have it right now. Come to me. Come quickly and humbly and honestly. Come to me so that I may give you life. Do not look to this world for the answer you seek. Look to me. I will give you truth. I will show you the way. I will give you eternal life. My darling children, my beloved ones, get ready. It is at the door. Get prepared. Ready your hearts. Steady your minds. I am coming. I love you, sons and daughters. I love you so thoroughly and so completely. Rest in this love. Rest knowing I know what you need before you do. I am there waiting for you with outstretched arms. I am your Savior, your Redeemer, and I have spoken these new words to you today. You are about to be delivered from this tumult. Do not be deceived. I will deliver you from the mess that men have made. Look up, for your redemption draws nigh. And the scriptures he gave with that, Philippians 1, 6 through 8. Um, Genesis two eleven, and I saved a com commentary on that because I thought it was really random until I read that commentary and it helped me understand. Ezekiel three eleven. Faithful and true, I heard. Hebrews 2.11 Leviticus 2.11 Song of Solomon 4.6 Matthew 24.6 I heard supernatural powers at play. I heard honey from the rock. Sing songs of provision. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. I heard fellowship offering. Galatians 2, 11 through 21. So I heard him say scriptures 2, 11. And when he does that, I just type that in and like the most popular 2, 11 verses come up and uh, they were all really good. So I got Proverbs 2, 11, 2 Corinthians 2, 11, 2 Thessalonians 2, 11, but I'll put it in context uh, 5 through 11, Ephesians 2, 11, and I'll put Ephesians 2, 11 through 13 so it's in context. So in that message, he said, I want you to feel the battle as I describe the scene to you. And so I, I thought that was a little bit strange because I never saw like the clear scene or felt the feelings. So, I mean, I, I, I saw the scene, I guess, but I didn't, it, I guess it wasn't what I expected. So I was a little bit confused about that and I uh, had some doubts. But I just, you know, no, I know he says things for a reason. And every time I have a question like that, it's usually 
to zero in on something later, like to highlight something. So I ended up taking a nap at two o'clock in the afternoon and my son and husband were on a fishing trip for the day and they weren't going to get back till really, really late at night. So I had this dream that I'm, that I'm sleeping in my dream and there's a commotion in the house and I recognize it's still daytime and so I'm not expecting my husband. I wasn't thinking he would come back. And um, so I was trying to call out to him, and but I was also afraid because I wasn't sure if it was him. I, I was confused by it. So there was, I heard the noise. So you can start to see the picture maybe. I'm the sleeping bride. I'm sleeping. And the husband, you know, could be thought of as Jesus. So I wasn't expecting him, but I think it might be him, but there's some confusion about it and there's some noise around it. So then he actually walks into the, the bedroom and I'm a little bit ashamed to be, to be caught asleep during the daytime and I'm surprised he's here so early. So I try to speak, but the voice can't call out. It can't come out of my body. And I know he's looking at me and I'm looking at him. And I'm feeling some, some disappointment. I'm feeling some fear. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know the feeling. But I'm whimpering. I can see my face whimpering. And I can feel trapped inside my own body. And then I just drifted back off just into like sleep again. Um, that's all I could do. So I think that's the battle, and I don't want to give too much interpretation. I'll let you think about that and uh, pray on that if that's if that's um, from the Holy Spirit or not. But to me, that made me understand the part. I want you to feel the battle as I describe the scene to you. So he described the scene, and then that dream helped me to feel what it would feel like to not be able to cry out to him once I realized. And um, so... It was not good. It was very uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm going to go to the today's message in the next video.